This video takes you through configuring AR Drone Flight Pro and showing you profile switching, all the common settings that you need to use to the initial setup of the app. Alright, I'll just start up the app. This is the initial screen. Basically, it's telling you you need the first time you need to connect to the internet to refresh any license information. And you also do this if it's a reinstall or a new device. So so basically, once you read the dialog, click OK, it'll take you to your Wi-Fi setting screens where you can connect to your internet connected Wi-Fi or turn off Wi-Fi if you want to use 3G connection. Wait for it to actually say connected. And then go back. And uh, then it basically shows you a dialog when the license is successfully retrieved. And I'll just show you selecting a Maps Forge map if you want to use autonomous mode. Let's choose your area. Obviously this is a big map, so you don't want to do this over 3G unless you've got unlimited data. So select a map. It warns you about the unlimited data, the large data. I'll actually edit this video out a bit so that you don't have to wait for the full download. But you see it's basically downloading the map. Okay, successfully downloaded. Magic. Okay, once you're finished in this menu, press the back button. And you get another dialog saying it's going to take you to the Wi-Fi setting screen. Now you need to connect back to your drone. Connect to the drone. Wait for the connection. Connected. Press the back button. There we go. That was the initial setup. I'll now go through create a couple of profiles and show you sort of how you use profiles. Um, okay, so you've got the on-screen controls, and obviously on-screen controls. There we go, menu, change settings, go in. I won't go into license and mapping because basically that's the screen you've just seen. If you do, you can say set save settings, discard settings, whatever you want to do. So, right, manage profiles. Create a new profile. I'll call them indoor and outdoor. There we go. And by default it will be on the indoor. So if we then go into change settings, it shows you the uh, editing the indoor profile. I'll create some flight animations because these are built into the Pro, adapt, Pro edition of the app. No extra in-app payments. Uh, similarly for autonomous mode, that was also built in. And the ability to fire V2 drones. Okay, so the, you get a list of flight animations. These include indoor, uh, V1 uh, and V2, and V2 only. The V2 only ones should only be used outdoors. Then you set time, the amount of time after the delay. And I'll create an LED animation as well. The thing to note about LED animation is you have to set a default time. If you don't set the default time, then the animation won't play. So, okay, we'll save another five seconds for the LED animation to run. Okay. I'll create another one which is outdoor. Actually, these are common across profiles, so you don't actually get multiple f different copies of these. I should point that out. Okay, and now I'll switch to an outdoor animation. So we'll slip, choose one of the V2 flips, which need to be done outside. And then you can just add whatever you like. Basically, build up and edit and delete things and whatever moves you want. Okay. LED animation. And time so it plays. Okay, you can also repeat the whole thing if you want, repeat the whole sequence, which means it will keep on going until you press the stop button. 
Okay. Right, that's flight information. Then I'll take you into the drone information. Basically, this is where you want to download firmware. I'll connect to my site to download the firmware. These aren't officially released by Parrot, but they're released in other app, the Parrot apps. So they're not actually custom firmware done by me, but they are official Parrot firmware, but just not officially released because Parrot don't get around to updating their site ever. Okay. You have to do this connected to the drone, I should point out, otherwise you'll get a V1 firmware download. So you do need to do what I, exactly what I did to get the right firmware for your drone. Okay, I connected that to the drone. Connected. And then you see you can update the drone with the firmware that you've just downloaded. Okay, that was drone information, joystick settings. You can choose your cyclic, whether you want to do tilting your device to fly or whether you want to use on-screen. For this particular profile, I'll choose an on-screen. And you've got individual control sensitivity and dead zones. So cyclic, pitch and roll. Collective is climb and yaw. Okay, on the UI settings, flight settings, sorry, will you get basically a warning about the Parrot app. So if you change the height in the My app rather than the Parrot app, then the Parrot app will crash. And then we've got flight modes. Combined yours like flying a plane, absolute mode. Basically, you can spin the drone around and do what you like. OK, UI. Here we've got control over the transparency, the text scale, icon scale, the different joystick sizes, thumb sizes. Basically, check, tweak whatever size you like. You've, <coughs> pardon me. You've also got on-screen colours, so you can change the on-screen colours, and you can change the colour saturation. And you can set your device performance. And here we've got video recording mode, so you can have USB and local. We'll choose that for this case. Also do local. And recording overlay, which I'll show you later on in the video. And we'll show Wi-Fi and quality. Attitude mode, so you can do it height, frames per second, velocity, whatever. Should actually show you a bit longer, I suppose. <laughs> um, And then flight time basically will just show you the USB time remaining and flight time that you've been flying since while this app has been running. So you quit the app and come back in again, it resets the count. And we've got the extra pro editions of head up display add on. So you can do a 3D model which shows your drone orientation. You can use a HUD which shows your attitude and also a velocity vector which shows the direction in which it's flying, the drone is flying. Um, this is for drone combat. Um, I'll just quickly flick through. You've got colour settings and that, so that's the opponent you're going to do and connect to over Bluetooth, but drone combat's a completely different set from that. So. Um, okay, these are all the gamepad mapping, so you can map the buttons and all the joystick axes. So you need a 3.1 or newer device, so you just Click a thing, click the thing you want to do, move, press the button or waggle the joystick in the axis you want to change. So rather straightforward. So that's it. Save the changes. Obviously you can discard the changes you want. There you go. See I've added on the HUD with the 3D model showing the orientation of the drone and the actual head-up display. I should point out that you need to calibrate your your device compass, so you need to do a figure of eight motion it drives compass to calibrate the device compass. And also on the drone there's the calibration menu which when you're flying that calibrates the drone. If you press calibrate it will calibrate the drone compass. There you go, see so the calibrate option there. Calibrate on the ground just flat says flat trim. OK, we'll tweak some of the settings for this profile. Um, 
it, you get the idea. You've got cyclic and sensitivities and dead zones. And okay, flight settings. This warns you about the free flight bug. Also warns you about the altitude limit. So I'll just basically, if you don't want to go out of Wi-Fi range, but as this is the outdoor profile, we're going to set higher, higher and outdoor mode. And we might switch to one of the other control modes. Let's say absolute mode was adjusted by compass. So basically, as you turn around, that's the way you're flying. You're, the way you're forward is the way you're facing. OK, and you can up the yaw rate and tilt angles if you're flying outside. OK, we'll save those settings. Oh, I should have actually set the, the um, head-up display. Back in. Oh, I'll also do the video mode. So, because I want to do one without overlay recording. Wi Fi. UI. There you can see you've got I'll just make attitude in this one. Okay, the changes. There we go. No 3D model. And so if I just show you basically you can see the attitude as you move the drone around. Switch back to the other profile, you see you've got the 3D model. Again, showing you the orientation of the drone. And if I move the device around, that's basically relative to your device compass. Press the flight animation. Basically, you get the idea. I wouldn't particularly choose these icon colours personally, but you know, you get the idea. You can choose any colour you like. Okay, you can also turn all the on screen controls on and off apart from the head up display and the 3D model. So basically, if you're flying and you just want to look at the video, don't care about all the on screen controls. They're still active, they're just hidden. Okay, that's just do a quick still capture and do some video recording because I'll show you the video different modes in later on. Switch to the other profile, do a recording in that mode. And you can see the USB time ticking down as it's recording to USB on the drone. You do need a special USB stick or you need to have a grounded, as parents say, it needs to be a grounded control. turn off recording and do local recording only just to show you that there you go you can see the USB has got gone now so it's just doing local recording and when I do recording there it's just doing a local recording local recording without overlay information is in high definition with overlay it takes more CPU load and also uh, as a such a consequence of which you can't do it in high resolution okay so these are the folders on the SD card that's where your firmware got downloaded don't really need to touch the firmware folder that's where the map got downloaded again don't need to touch that main ones are the media which are the still captures and you can see a still And the video folder, which is a different two different formats, with and without the overlay. The one with AR drone video at the front has the overlay information. The one without is the high definition version. 
there you go you can see you've got heading information speed altitude battery Wi-Fi signal quality wind so basically all the information if you want to do high speed you can do that locally and also on the USB stick and high diff or if you haven't got a USB stick then you can use this mode but you don't get all the overlay information but it is high def that's all the tr up to you choose what you want okay that's it go to my website for more information as usual thanks for watching